Hello everybody. Our next camera is a Pintax Spotmatic. Uh, it was made sometime between 1965 and 1973. It's M42 screw mount camera. Uh, this was the second generation of Spotmatic, not to be confused with the Spotmatic 2. Uh, hence that this is the second variant of it post-1964 or 1965. It says SP under the serial number and down here you probably won't be able to see this on the video. Uh, it says 23102. The earlier ones just said 231 and also the ISO range, the film speeds that you can set, this goes from 20 to 1600 and the earliest Spotmatic goes from 10 to 800. It has a uh, horizontally traveling cloth shutter from one second to one thousandth of a second. It has two sockets for X and M sync. That gives you an idea of its age. The M sync is for flash bulbs. There's no hot shoe. There was an accessory available that slipped over the viewfinder gave you a cold shoe, so you still needed to cable into the camera body. There's no split image finder in this one, uh, but the micro prism is really nice and bright, and it's actually easier to see what's in focus than some split image uh, viewfinders. Uh, I ran into a couple of problems with this. I was in a hurry. Uh, I was being ground crew for my buddy that was running the La Luz Trail Run this year. I grabbed the wrong camera. I had a different Spotmatic 2 than I used before, prepped and ready to go. In the rush, I grabbed this guy. I did not have it ready to go. At the time, I didn't even have a uh, battery chamber cover. It was completely untested. It does have kind of a shutter timing issue. One side of a lot of my shots uh, is black. The more I've used it though, it seems to be clearing up, so it may have just needed to move around, get some old lubricants moving, or get some crud off the rails. It's got the lens on it that I got it with. I showed this when I did the Spotmatic 2, uh, just as kind of a quick comparison. It's a Mamiya Secor uh, 50mm f2, and it seems to be pretty sharp and in decent shape. Um, I had a lens cleaning kit with me because I had a couple of digital cameras with me, thankfully. So I gave it a quick cleanup, used my smartphone app for metering, and I got some pretty sweet shots with it. A lot of them I've had to crop way into them because they had that part of the image is black problem. But now that I know this guy basically works, the meter does work after I found a replacement cap for the battery chamber. And now that it's loosened up and working pretty well, I'm going to give it a shot. I'll take it out and shoot with it again. I'll see you then.